Dixon is a first-person shooter for DOS and Windows published by id Software and developed by Raven Software released on October 30th, 1995. The game was ported to other systems including Mac and the PlayStation, Sega Saturn, and Nintendo 64. Based on my last review of Heretic, can Hexen do anything original? As a matter of fact, there are a few original ideas. First and foremost, instead of a single character, you can choose from three. And what makes them special? Each character has their own strengths and weaknesses. For example, the fighter excels in speed and strength but sucks at magic. The cleric is balanced and the mage excels at magic but sucks in strength and speed. Well, that's a start. What else? All three characters share one common trait. They can use mana, which replaces ammo. Sort of. What I'm getting at is there are three mana types. Blue, green, and combined. Each character starts with one weapon, but three more can be obtained, two of which can be found while the fourth has to be assembled. What sets this game apart from Heretic and Doom is that these are the only four weapons you get. One other unique concept is that you don't go from point A to point B. You go from point A to point B, back to point A, then to point C, and so on. In a nutshell, when you finish the first level, you'll enter a hub, and from there, you'll access several mini-levels. Speaking of the hub, make sure you preserve any items because when they're gone, they're gone. Speaking of items, while the concept of an inventory returns from Heretic, there's one new feature, what you find between levels, you keep. One thing I'll mention is that each area can take anywhere from half an hour to at least two hours. Another feature is that enemies can reappear at any time, but it's usually the Edtons that appear. One thing I'll mention before moving on is that you can jump, but it's seldom useful. Armor this time also works different. What character you choose is what armor class you start with. In addition, you'll be picking up four different pieces of armor, adding to the armor class. With all that, it's safe to say that Hexen has more originality than Heretic did. This game gets four stars out of five.